All right, guys. So um, basically, you guys saw the uh, the 360 view of the car. Um, already start. I I actually already started actually prepping the car and sanding the car and just getting everything down. Now the car had some defects. It seems like s someone way before me already did this car, and they actually bundled the whole car <laughs> unnecessarily, literally. This is a good, this is a good trunk lid. And for some reason, you got 40 years of paint. This is actually all the layers of paint. It's been, and it's the, the whole freaking trunk lid has been mud with Bondo. Or actually body filler because Bondo is actually an A brand. So here we, there's another example. We could see that this car once it was black and also actually was blue as you can see right here see so we're gonna give it a little walk around um, all the body works it's going you know being done so basically we've actually sanded this down right here as you can see right here also here and here now the worst parts of this car are actually the hood and the roof. For example, right here. See, it has a rust hole. So now I have to actually sand all this and just grind all this to see how extensive is actually the, you know, the damage. And solder on a piece of metal here. Also, I have to scrape the whole roof, basically, because for some reason, as you guys could see it right here, for some reason, well, the bundle is actually lifting up. And this actually happens because of two factors, two big factors. One, bad prep work before paint or body work. Two, um, it's rusting. And someone didn't do their body work right. So now I have to use some metal conditioner after that. We're going to sand that. I'm going to actually gonna sand that off. And this is a 1980 Toyota Corolla 1.8. This is one really famous car here in Puerto Rico. Uh, I'm actually a big fan of them. Even though I like Nissans better. But um, I had one of these. Not... This type of body, not a coupe, but I had a station wagon and I love them. They're great. They have great engines. With that little small engine, you could get at least 400 and 500 horsepower if you do it pretty well. So it's a, it, it's actually a good displace, displacement engine and it's, it's actually workable. Now, these cars, they actually rank high. This one right here, uh, my buddy, he paid 4800 for it. 4800 for it. And what does it have? Well, it has some racing rims. This car, even with this jacked up bad body work, um, it's worth a lot of money. So what I'm actually doing here for him, actually we're going to just do the whole car. I'm helping him out, giving him a hand. Plus, it's actually a great opportunity for me to work in a car like this. So um, I don't get this kind of, you know, th these kind of jobs often. I mostly do like modern cars and stuff like that, you know, bumpers, reconstructions and all that stuff. But in order to get to do a car like just like this one, well, once in a lifetime, it's a hootie, you know, it's a hootie. But um, I really like them. So I hope you like it. Um, We're going to get some work done now. Yeah. All right. So basically what you want to do when you're working on a car like this, one is wear protection. You got to wear protection. You're gonna get your, um, you're gonna get yourself a, a heating gun. And we're gonna turn it on. We're gonna turn this sucker on. We're gonna heat the bondo. So, bondo actually is a, actually body filler. It's actually a plastic filler. It's a plastic filler. So we're gonna heat it up. 
it's actually going to um, soften, and that way we're going to be able to um, just, you know, lift it up and just yank it off, all right? So we're going to turn it on, turn off the heat. This is pretty, pretty hot in here enough. So, woo! Basically, yep, it's already warming up. Yep. See, there it is. It's already working. You know, so it's actually better doing it this way because you're not doing it, you know, you're not messing with, you know, harmful fumes from chemicals and all that stuff so this way you're doing it safe and to be truth to you it's actually coming it's coming out pretty smooth So, what I'm going to do basically is I'm going to do this and then I'll show you, all right? This is how you're supposed to do it. No chemical, no dust. Alright guys, so I actually healed most of it, not everything. Just in the places where there is Bondo. Just in the places where it's Bondo. That, this part over here was actually Bondo the whole thing. And I don't know why they did this, because um, it's good steel. But, it seems like something hit here. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to see if I, I, if I can actually take out the headliner and just, you know, pull this back because it's right in here. It's right, I just, you know, if you, if, you get a, if you get a ruler, you will actually be able to see. Anyway, so we have Bondo here. Bondo here, Bondo here, uh, I mean, body filler. We have like, Bondo, if you're interested in, you know, um, sponsoring, thumbs up, anytime. So, um, basically, yeah. So, we have body filler here, body filler here. Now, we're going to go the whole top with a 40 grit. Why a 40 grit and not a lower one? Well, I don't want to eat the steel. It's not a good thing to eat your steel, especially on a almost 40 year old car like this. Uh, steel in time actually weakens, and if you start, if you you know go too rough on it, you're gonna eat too much of it, and it's gonna be more the damage you're doing than what it actually has. So instead of repairing it, you're just destroying it. So basically. We're gonna do a uh, 40 grit, eat everything, then 80 grit, 100 grit, and so and so. All right, until we finish 
actually everything with a uh, hundred and with a hundred grit it's pretty it's a pretty rough texture uh, for me to just body filler the whole thing again but we're not gonna do body filler right now we're just gonna start peeling it off and all that stuff just like I did um, with the uh, trunk lid all right so um, we're done with that and God it's hot in here I gotta get these um I gotta get the uh, extractors and well I mean the fans <laughs> working um, yep so that's it uh, so I'm gonna just I'm gonna keep on right now scraping this not using the heat gun because you know it's already cold but it's, 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 it's not cold it's still warm but whatever is loose it's going to come out. I don't want to take no more body work from it because, you know, the rest is good. It was this part right here. For some reason, it's contaminated. And so was this part right here. So, I just don't get it. Why on earth would someone do it? You know, we do something like this. If you're going to do it, do it right. That's what I always say. Do it right, and not only right, do it better. <laughs> so yeah, let's keep on working, my people. And you see it like this now. It's going to be only a minute for you. Well, less than a second for you. It's going to probably take me, what, an hour or two. But yeah. All right, so we're going to start sanding now. Just leveling everything up, all right? As much, as much as we can. Basically what we did, all right, we scuffed the whole roof, all as much as we could. Now, wherever we saw that, you know, there was rust, and let me explain, there's no rust. She's not rusted except for that part over there where she has a hole, which we're going to cover that too. We're not going to do a, you know, what I call a Danny adjustment, which is, I'm sorry to all you Dannys, I'm really sorry, but, um... A Danny adjustment is a piece of crap of a job that um, back in the day they used to do. They used to fill them up with foam. You used to see that a lot in um, BW Bugs, um, the buses, like was you know um, was was Falia and all that, all those camper buses. You used to see all those, all, you know, all that stuff in, in, in um, buses. So basically, it is kind of smooth. All right, all right. So as you can see, she is smooth. She's smooth, baby. It's smooth, smooth, smooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let me take this off. All right, so um, basically, as you can see, she's running smooth. She's really, really, really smooth. All the edges are fade up. You know why? So that means we don't have to create a hard edge. And that's... Uh, body working it right you don't have to create an edge like they did here this is a big edge right there so this is like something's in here but I'm not gonna go I'm not actually gonna just carve this thing out so we're trying like to you know just return over here all the uh, all the edges and stuff like that as much as we can I gotta work this thing right here a little bit you know what I'm gonna do this right now I'm gonna smooth this thing up so um, but basically this is it so then you know we're gonna get we're gonna buy ourselves a ruler 
and we're gonna you know when we're gonna prep this up and we're gonna you know just throw in some body filler and we're gonna use a 12 inch spreader that way you're gonna have a consistent uh, consistency at you know when you're spreading your body filler all right guys as you can see it is raining here it's raining inside the pool well it's raining outside but um this is not a 100% waterproof so I have another layer that I have to you know throw on top of this in order to you know to prevent this kind of stuff from happening so basically what we're gonna do we already uh, actually leveled out the whole roof and we leveled out the uh, the trunk lid we're gonna do the hood today so that's our major point uh, we're gonna do the hood which the hood has a lot of uh, extensive body filler trust me I don't know why they went crazy with body filler in this car which I, it's a it's almost a 40 year old car it was built in the 80s but um there was no need you know this was actually a perfect a perfect trunk lid probably had a ding or or so but not to the extensive that you would have to actually cover the whole thing in body filler so I have no other choice but to do the same thing again because what they did is they actually grind they actually grind they grind uh, instead of just using a, a probably a 40 grit or 36 grit and probably that's, that's actually too rough a 36 is actually pretty rough but you know they use a disc you know a cutting wheel disc um in order to just grind up the freaking um, trunk lid so basically this is what we're going to be doing today so we level this out we level this out we're gonna do the, the, the hood and the weather today is kind of crappy so we have crappy weather now I brought in my air compressor which I don't use air compressors because I use a turbine system um, when I'm going to paint and I'm sorry if I have to, you know, um, raise my voice in order so you guys can hear me. I don't have a dedicated microphone yet, but I will purchase one pretty soon. Um, and I'm actually doing this through my phone because I, I got to buy a brand new camera. So, we're going to blow the car off. Let everything out. Always wear lung protection. You know, if you want to grow old, use it. Alright, so, um, yeah. I'll show you guys right now. All right, guys, so, yeah, it smells like burnt plastic in here. Apparently stopped raining, so, but, if I do like this, yeah, water will fall. Okay, so listen, so what I did is, you know, I heated up the, uh, the hood. Remember, body filler is a plastic filler, you know? So, you're able to just manipulate it. If it gets hot, see, for instance, take a look at this piece right here. See? This is how bad of a job they did to this car. I'm able to do this, and I didn't heat this part right here. I only, I was heating while I, you know, the same part that I was actually ripping off, so. Okay. 
This is a quarter of an inch. I don't know if you guys can see. It's a quarter of an inch. Focus, 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 focus. Come on, boy. Come on. Yeah. Right there. Uh-huh. So. I'm going to have to do this to the whole hood. There's no way of escaping this. So. I'm going to do this to the hood and I'll catch you later. All right. So I'm going to do, you know. I'll do a fast clip for you, a hyper shot. All right, guys, so as you can see, these, these maps right here, <laughs> it looks like a map. It actually looks like a boat. And here's the cabin. And I don't know what this looks like. Uh, probably a state. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, guys, well, I scraped all the uh, damaged body filler. Like I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go all over the place, all over the hood, cause it's not even gonna be worth it. All that effort. Cause as you can see, it had, it, it's a damage panel. They actually welded a patch right here, really bad, and it's wrong. And right here. It's bent, so it's either I work with what I have, and this is what I have, so I'm gonna work with it, and that's it. it smells like burnt plastic here. I, I have to ax it. I have to ax it. This um, this pink booth slash, I don't know, garage tent, carport, whatever you want to call it. So I have I have to make the holes in the other side and seal all the seams from the uh from the uh, um from the plastic tarp with um gorilla scotch tape which is actually the best um and that way we're we're gonna be able to actually um exit all the fumes and the same thing over here same thing over there i mean over there so we're gonna make a hole and that one's gonna actually gonna actually bring clean air my eyes are burning right now but anyway this is gonna be it and next thing is gonna be uh sanding it with uh 40 grit, then 80 grit, then 100 grit, then 120, and we'll leave it in 120, because that's going to be our prep area for the uh, bando. All right, here we go, guys. The little baby boy, it's turned on. Woo! As you can see, where it's been sand, it's where it needs to be body work. Obviously, it's mostly your own old car. But, I'm telling you, this car is what's up. Now over here I have to solder this part right here because it's broken. As you can see it's broken. And I have to do the door jam. This door jam is actually busted. But it's way beyond fixing right now because if I break all this work, if I if I actually undo all this job right here, look, I'll have to just clamp my puller into this piece right here in order to just bring it out and then we can do it again. The owner doesn't want to. So he's just like, just work around it. That's it. So basically, this is it, boys and girls and my people. My people from Ratchet Law. Yeah, just join in, you know. Please subscribe, share, help me grow this channel. I'll teach you a lot of, you know, a lot of neat tricks. Working around cars. I've been doing this since I was 15. So, um,. This is it. Hope you guys like it. 
this is it for today. I'm not gonna keep on doing no more body work. I'm exhausted. It's already, yeah, it's almost three. But as you guys can see, well, this is it. We've done, we've broken all the job, the previous work that the, uh, the hood had, the roof had, as you can see, it's already getting light rust. It seems like I've done this, every all this in one day, and it's not. I, it's actually took me three separate days, three separate days, my people, in order to do this job. This is only three days of work. So basically, now the hood needs a little bit more sanding. I'm gonna keep on doing that, but I just want you to, you know, just take a look at this beautiful ride. This is not 100% original. It's not. You know, as you can you, you can hear this. You know, it has a good camshaft. Um, has great exhaust system. Pistons for high compression. Uh, lightweight wheels. It has a Weber. It has traction extension. It, it has a tack in the inside. You can just take a look into. It. As attacking the inside, the interiors are actually original. This is all original, body wise, engine wise. Well, I believe you could take a look at this. Beautiful, just hear this exhaust. Beautiful sound, huh? It's awesome. It's a nice piece of a machine. I love this kind of car, you know. This is a car that actually represents a lot of Puerto Ricans. All right, guys. So um, today was a pretty, pretty long day. So just stay tuned, you know. This is a, it's a pretty nice, good project. I'm going to install these right now, but I'm not going to show you in camera. So, um, you know, so it's kind of stupid. I'm all full of dust. When you're always working with a car and you're, and you're doing your um, body work, please, 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 always wear lung protection. A beautiful respirator only costs you like $30 in Home Depot. So just do it, all right? And in the long run, you'll thank me. Take a look. See that? You don't want none of this in your lungs. So basically what we did today, it's what I showed you. We did the roof. It's beautiful. It's all fade up. It's just, you know, it's all fade up. I got to do the little rust spot on the other side. But take a look at this car, man. These, this car has some beautiful lines. I'm telling you people, beautiful, beautiful lines. Yes, it's an old car, but man, this is one beautiful car. I'm telling you, this is one beautiful, beautiful car. Take a look. You don't get to see these very often so um basically yeah so stay tuned uh, for the next video i'll be uploading this one today so um uh, uh like share and subscribe i'm starting again this channel i had this channel long you know i i had a channel that it, it was all about cars but i switched it you know to give out the word of god um and it's been great it's been great i've i've uh god what god has given me has i know that it has actually impact a lot of people in, around the world and i may not have a lot of subscribers but i don't care because if you're watching one of those videos it's because god led you to it and god wants you to hear the word of god and god wants you to know that he loves you and he's still waiting for you. And all he wants is to provide you with love, nurture, care. But also to save you. And give you eternal life. In a place where you're not going to suffer. And all you're going to do is live in peace and in love. And that's heaven. And I believe that every single human being wants to go to heaven. Nobody wants to go to hell. But you got to give your heart to God. 
and serve God with your heart. Sometimes it's not good enough just to say that, oh, I'm a good person. No. Because deep inside, we're all sinners. So it's like working with a car. It has rust. And rust, it's cancer. And that cancer eats the metal, right? So it's like sin. Sin eats your soul. And you have to take a car to a guy like me in order to repair this car, right? Because it's rusting out. And it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful car. It's a beautiful, you know, piece of equipment, machinery. It's a beautiful machine. And I love it. I love it. But it's the same thing with us human beings, you know. If you're feeling not well, go to God. You don't have to go to the church and just say, I, I want you to pray for me. No, 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 no. You don't have to do it. Because God says in his word, if you do it alone in your room, in your midst, privately, and you tell your sins to God, he will forgive you. See, you don't need to go to another man in order to ask him for a prayer. Oh, you know, and I'm not dissing nobody. I'm just saying what the word of God just says. So, you know, just like, share, and subscribe. Help me out. Help me out to grow this channel the way I want it. And this is not going to be the the, uh, the only thing. I got a few more projects. I got a Jeep update because I got a Jeep. So I'm coming with my CJ, CJ7. And I also have a Rally Arc in the works. Um, it's already done with the engine and stuff like that where we put the engine. So, um, yeah, this channel is going to be hype. So we're going to, you know, doing some blogs and check out some other people's cars. So just, you know, just hit share and subscribe. All right. Thank you. God bless you. Peace. Woo.